everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Megan. Today's video is a special video. I'm celebrating my first year flip furniture. I'm celebrating uh, with a collaboration with Sarah by uh, 45 Designs. Sarah is amazing, is my inspiration. Sarah always try new things. And today's video, um, we go do a new propose, a piece of furniture, and we go together try the linen uh, paint technique. I'm going to work on this shine cabinet and <laughs> i tell you in a few what happened. I'm so happy I got this uh, shiny cabinet from my neighbor and I'm so happy to put my hands in a shiny cabinet. Oh no. I went to inside to pick it up the stuff for cleaning and my cabinet fell off. All the glasses was broke. Oh no. Sometimes that happen. That happened. Fell and all the uh, glass broken. I ordered uh, a new glasses. I waiting like for three weeks for the for the new glass arrived and the glass arrived like a little inch uh, short for the the cabinet. And I'm think this cabinet speak to me. I don't want to be anymore a shiny cabinet. That's why I'm work today on this cabinet and give a new purpose. I'm go uh, take it out the the top part. I'm go to work on the bottom part. Let's go to start. Here is the beautiful china cabinet. It's a vintage one. Before it fell, has all the glass on it, and this is the shelf. Here's two shelves. Need you some love, but in a pure good condition now has more damage because fell wood need to clean up but it is now for the fell has one more damage and lose a stream here, but I found it. I glue it on it later. The back is in good shape. I will do the sun outside because today is extremely cold and I will do the uh, wash the inside. Let's go to start. I'm going to use uh, 220 uh, grips and paper. Here the beautiful bottom. Now I need you close this holes and I need you push this nails back more back. Is solid wood. All this is solid wood. Need to climb because it's red wood. 
and need your good cleaning. First is first to remove the hardware for do I'm disassembling the back because it will be more easy to cleaning and restore um, inside. To use bundle to close this holes. Everything dry now, it's time to go outside to sand it. Sand everything. I'm going to start with one um, 20 uh, paper to grip on, on the top and I'm going lower on the 220. It's time to primer. I'm going to use, since there been uh, primer and chalec, I'm going to use a roller and a sheep brush. Let's go to primer. To the same inside the cabinet with the same uh, restore and finish and all this scratch will be restored i do inside the cabinet on the back of the cabinet on the shelf and after do with the the, the steel i'm uh, wipe it off with the fiber cloth and this restore everything Before I'm close the back, I'm going to apply a feed in wax for protect and give a shining.
before I paint, I'm going to uh, pour back on uh, the doors. I clean up the hardware and I then I thought uh, paint, but I really love them. This is my color, it's a green such, and that is a dark green. In camera, cannot see like uh, very well. I don't know if I'm going to use this or not, and I'm going to use my whisk broom. Let's go to start. I'm going to work in sections, and let's go to see how this works. <laughs> I'm so excited to try this new technique. First, I'm going to use my sash cream. The primer is my base coat. I love the combination of these two colors. I need to apply the dark one first and on the top the clear one. This color is the original color. Is done. 
I have too much fun to create this texture uh, linen technique paint. I'm in love how this comes out. I love the two colors together. Turn this so beautiful. I'm in love. I think I'm keep this for me. Thank you for watching and special thank you Sarah for uh, have this collaboration with me. I have too much fun to do, to do this and see you next time. Bye.